What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Chop here and I'm coming at you with another video, a rant, a rave, a talk, a discussion, a ramble about America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. Before I get started on today's topic, hope you guys are having a fantastic start of the week. And if you guys can go ahead and please hit that subscribe button to become a piglet if you haven't already. And if you can also turn on that bell notification, that way you're notified every single time I upload a video on this channel. And thank you in advance. And if you can also give this video a like if the topic interests you. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So, got some very good news today. And the news includes the Cowboys saying bye Felicia to T. Will, Terrence Williams, wide receiver, who was pretty much hurt and suspended all of last year. And just good riddance to the guy, man. We don't need him. We don't need... He didn't do anything for the team. Back in 2017, he did great for us, and then he hasn't done anything since. So, we saved $2.25 million on him, and we also get a compensatory pick. Am I saying that word, a compensatory pick? In 2020. So, that could be a fourth-round pick. That could be a fifth, second... We'll just have to wait and see. So that's an extra draft pick for us for letting him go, which I'm okay with. Terrence Williams was one of those guys that did really good at the beginning of his career. And then we brought him back. And he actually took a discount to come back. And he just couldn't stay out of trouble and couldn't stay healthy. So this is a good scratch for us. This is a good buy situation for us. And honestly, I'm not broken up about it. Now, I will be upset if and when Cole Beasley is let go of or not re-signed or however that goes down. So, 2.25 doesn't sound like a lot, but that that could go into something else. That, that could go into a bigger honeypot to get another person's contract signed. Apparently, we are working on Demarcus Lawrence's contract. And maybe this cleared up a little bit of space that we could use to try and re-sign him. And if we're going to use a franchise tag, I hope we'll use it on Demarcus Lawrence. But that franchise tag would be a lot of money. Um, I think it's upwards to like over $30 million or something like that. $38 million? I might have just made that up. Who knows? So, for those of you that don't know, Terrence Williams, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Terrence Williams, man, that guy was kind of a jackass, like Terrence Williams. Terrence Williams uh, apparently was in the news recently last week when his car was repossessed because he wasn't making payments on it. And honestly, if you're a millionaire wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys, make your damn car payments unless you're blowing the money on other things. Just, what are you doing? And then he also got in trouble for... Uh, I believe he got into a car accident and he was intoxicated. So that's why he got suspended, was uh, he was intoxicated and got into a car accident. And honestly, that's just one less ring for this ring, this like five ring circus that we have. And that's okay with me because it's one less distraction. Even though it's a moderate distraction, it's still one less distraction for the, the Cowboys. And that compensatory pick, again, if I'm saying that word wrong, please let me know down below. That could help us next year. That could be, because if it's a fourth round or, you know, somewhere around that, uh, mid-round to late-round pick, then we could get a really good player in the fourth round or, or what have you. So that could be the difference. We could go get a wide receiver with that, or we could go get something to uh, – meet our needs or maybe add depth to a certain position but that's neither here nor there i really don't know much about the 2020 draft yet because obviously it hasn't happened yet we still got to get to the 2019 draft coming up very very soon it's right around the corner and honestly i'm excited about the uh the draft this year even though we don't have a first round pick because we got amari cooper which i think is definitely worth the first round pick then uh, I, we're just going to have to wait till was it day two? I think it's just the first round, day one. So we're going to have to wait till day two in the second round to see who we can get. 
and there's a lot of good wide receivers out there there's a lot of good defensive ends a lot of good safeties and corners and all that good stuff i mean every need that we need filled we could fill easily with the draft alone and that's not even counting free agency which is coming up very shortly also i think at the uh the beginning of march is when uh free agency starts i believe don't quote me on that but anyway all right guys i'm gonna get out of here just want to make this short video talking about terrence williams and how he is no longer going to be a dallas cowboy which i am okay with give somebody else a chance to wear the number 83 and do better and honestly i mean the, i like the guy a couple of years ago when he made that michael jackson ballerina catch on the sidelines against seattle that was amazing and then I think he made an acro the exact same acrobatic catch in the end zone during one game. So that, thank you for that. As I always say to the uh, players that we let go of, thanks for the memories, even though they weren't so great. So, all right, guys, thank you so much once again for dropping by. If you guys can please subscribe if you haven't already and turn on that bell notification if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it. And also like and comment. Let's discuss down below. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much once again for dropping by. And always remember, my little pig, let's call it poor chop. Loves y'all the most. Let's y'all take it easy, guys, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. How about them cowboys?